This girl hates her mother and wants to run away from home. However, only after getting stuck in a parallel world, the girl finally understands the importance of a family. Rainy is an adorable little girl who lives with her single mother, Eileen, who is a successful businesswoman. Due to job responsibilities, Eileen chat gives enough time to her daughter, and that's why Rainy has become oversensitive and rebellious. However, Rainy yearns for her mother's attention and always looks forward to being with her. On her 12th birthday, Rainy decorates the whole house, prepares a cake, and waits for her mother. The night sets in but there's no sign of Eileen, and Rainy falls asleep on the table. The next morning, Rainy wakes up in anger and decides to confront her mother. She grabs her bicycle and rushes to Eileen's office. Meanwhile, her mother is in severe depression because the company is facing huge losses. Eileen immediately calls a meeting but her phone starts ringing. It's Rainy, and she wants to see her mother right now. Eileen apologies for forgetting the birthday and promises to make up for it. Suddenly, she gets another call which makes Rainy angry. She sends her assistant to pick up Rainy but before he reaches there, Rainy leaves already. In the same company, there's an evil businessman named Kane who is working on an illegal experiment. He orders a lab monkey to test the latest technology called the Dimensional Portal Experiment. But the monkey is quite mischievous and keeps running around. Kane gets angry and scolds his staff. He wants to succeed in this experiment and become the savior of the company. Kane keeps shouting at the staff so they start shooting at the monkey. Unfortunately, they miss the shot and the laser escapes the building. Just a few miles away, Rainy is planning to run away from home to punish her mother. She sees the laser shooting through the sky and tries to figure out what it is. Before she can sense the danger, the laser hits the little girl and she disappears in thin air. The company staff was following the laser and immediately informed Kane that they accidentally sent Eileen's daughter to another dimension. Instead of getting worried, Kane celebrates successfully sending someone to another dimension. After a while, Rainy opens her eyes in the middle of a mysterious forest. At first, she gets fascinated by the unique flowers and mesmerizing waterfall, but then she notices someone following her. It's a giant monster. She runs to save her life, but the monster finds her immediately. Rainy accepts her defeat and prepares to get eaten by the monster, but suddenly it gets attacked by someone from the tree. It's an alien boy who voluntarily protects Rainy and asks her to run away while he tries to distract the monster. However, the monster is more attracted by the scent of humans and goes after Rainy. She tries to hide behind a tree, but the monster finds her again. The alien boy comes to rescue, but there's another monster right behind them. Rainy starts to panic, but the clever alien makes the two monsters fight each other, and he gets a chance to run away with Rainy. Before she can ask him any questions, the alien hits her with a tranquilizer. After a while, Rainy opens her eyes in a mysterious treehouse where the alien is discussing his dinner with his grandpa. Rainy starts screaming because she assumes that the alien is going to eat her. The grandma explains that she is wrong and introduces himself as Doctor. Sedgwick and the alien is his grandson named Blue. He's a great hunter and believed that it will easier to bring Rainy unconscious instead of explaining her everything on the way. The next thing Rainy does is questioning why Blue looks like an alien while the grandpa is perfectly human. The grandpa playfully says that it's just genetics and asks Rainy to focus on dinner. Today they will be having a special feast because it's Blue's birthday. Dr. Sedgwick passionately sings the birthday song and explains how proud he is to see Blue growing up so fast. This reminds Rainy of her own birthday which Eileen had forgotten. She believes Blue is really lucky to have someone like his grandpa who celebrates his birthday and eats dinner with him. Rainy suddenly remembers about the monsters and wonders if they were dinosaurs. Hearing this, Doctor, Sedgwick explains that the monsters can't be dinosaurs or any other animal Rainy knows because this is not Earth. It's called the Jungle Planet. Several years ago, Dr. Sedgwick found a hidden portal that connects the Jungle Planet to Earth. He arrived here to study the new species of plants and animals. Rainy doesn't have to worry because Dr. Sedgwick knows a way to send her back to Earth, but it will take at least three days. Rainy is still angry at her mother and wants to stay here on Jungle Planet. Meanwhile, her mother is really worried and has been looking everywhere for her. She returns home and notices how much effort Rainy had put into the birthday party. Eileen wants to fix her mistakes, but it's too late. Luckily, Dr. Sedgwick doesn't listen to the little girl and decides to send her back even if she doesn't want to. He can't take any risks because all of his research is sponsored by the evil Kane. Little does he know, Kane is just using his intelligence. As soon as he gets the research samples, Kane is going to banish Dr. Sedgwick from the company. He connects to the jungle world to get the updates, but Dr. Sedgwick is busy making hot sauces and condiments. Kane gets angry, 
and reminds Dr. Sedgwick that he is supposed to find the sample of a new strain of DNA. If he doesn't complete the mission soon, Kane will visit the jungle planet by himself, along with his team of experts. Hearing this, Doctor, Sedgwick promises to find the required DNA as soon as possible, and requests Kane to avoid sending anyone, because it will disturb the balance of nature on this planet. He accidentally mentions Rainy, which surprises Kane because he didn't know anyone can survive the transfer. He immediately orders his team to make preparations. They are going to the majestic jungle planet. Later that night, Rainy sits alone in a corner and thinks about everything that happened today. Blue notices her and asks about her worries. Rainy pretends to be okay and says that she was just busy staring at the three moons of Jungle Planet. Blue also loves watching them so he decides to call his grandpa as well but Rainy requests him not to do it. She doesn't want Dr. Sedgwick to send her back home. Blue gets shocked to hear this and says that Rainy should think about her mother who must be really worried. Blue never met his parents but he knows that good parents are a great blessing. However, Rainy believes that her mother is different. She only cares about work, and Rainy is just another task that must fit in Eileen's schedule. Therefore, Rainy has decided to start a new life here on Jungle Planet. She will run away from the treehouse so Grandpa can't send her back. Rainy plans to go on big adventures and Blue has to serve as her guide. Blue feels reluctant at first, but he can't leave the poor girl alone. She's her first ever friend. But they need to wait till the morning because dangerous monsters keep wandering all night. After the deal is done, Blue wishes her a happy birthday and goes to sleep. The next morning, Rainy surprises Blue with a new hairstyle. Afterward, she takes his dagger and throws it towards the map. Wherever it lands, that will be their first destination. Blue immediately says no when he sees the dagger pointing at the fallen forest. It's impossible to go there. Suddenly, Dr. Sedgwick calls Blue and asks him to take care of Rainy as he's going to explore the fallen forest. This is a golden chance for Rainy to sneak into Dr. Sedgwick's vehicle and reach her destination. Blue takes her to a secret tunnel that leads them to a hidden cave. It's called the Heart of the Treehouse, which is almost thousand years old. Blue chooses a dangerous bridge to reach the vehicle so Rainy can think of giving up. But the brave girl risks her life and crosses the bridge. They reach the giant four-handed excavator and hide inside it. The grandpa turns on the excavator and starts moving. Blue himself is also curious about the fallen forest because Dr. Sedgwick never takes him there. Moreover, he doesn't know what his grandpa actually does and why he wants to collect the rare seeds of wisdom. They are talking plants which have wisdom like humans. They are so intelligent that Dr. Sedgwick hasn't located them in years. Hearing this, Rainy decides to find the wisdom seeds as her first adventure. Suddenly, Dr. Sedgwick climbs down some cliffs and the excavator starts shaking rapidly. As soon as it stops, Rainy and Blue climb down and run away. Meanwhile, one of the staff members of Kane secretly informs Eileen about her daughter. She rushes to the lab and sneaks inside to find her daughter. The staff is talking about Dr. Sedgwick and his hard work of several years in finding the dimensional portal. As soon as they mention Rainy, Eileen comes forward and threatens the staff to reveal the whole truth, but they can't say anything until Kane returns. He has traveled to the jungle planet and breaks into Dr. Sedgwick's treehouse. However, no one's home. Dr. Sedgwick is busy looking for the wisdom seeds while the kids are exploring the fallen forests. Blue claims to sense the wisdom seeds and asks Rainy to follow him. He's looking for water because the wisdom tree must grow beside a pond or lake. They keep searching for hours but finally realize that they are just moving in circles. Rainy starts arguing with Blue and rejects his stupid theories about the wisdom seeds. Suddenly some vines grow out of the ground and trap Rainy. It's done by two aliens who called themselves Lumoris. Blue is also one of them, but he failed to discover his real identity and befriended humans, his biggest enemies. The Lumoris reveal that they are born with the ability of summoning plants, but Blue lost his powers because of getting brainwashed by Dr. Sedgwick. The Lumoris use their magic to help Blue recognize his powers so he can be taken back to their clan. Blue magically recalls everything about his clan and calls the Lumoris by their names Mulla and Tulla. He also gains his power to control plants. The Lumoris get happy to see this, but Blue is really confused. He removes the vines from Rainy and accepts that he can never be a human like her. Everything his grandpa told him was a lie. Rainy asks him to calm down and continue searching for the wisdom seeds. Hearing about Dr. Sedgwick, the Lumoris say that he is a creep who kidnapped Blue 12 years ago when he was just a seed. The wisdom seeds grow up to become Lumoris. For this cruel act, Dr. Sedgwick doesn't deserve to be called Grandpa. Rainy advises Blue to stop listening to the Lamoras. 
they should return home and listen to Grandpa's side of the story. However, Blue isn't in the mood to listen to anyone. He runs away and sits beside the lake. Rainy follows him too and asks him to share his thoughts. She doesn't know the whole truth, but she believes that Dr. Sedgwick's love for Blue wasn't a lie. He deserves to explain himself. Blue doesn't want to see his grandpa's face ever again and asks Rainy to stop taking his side. Rainy gets quiet and waits for Blue to open up. The Lemores are also waiting for Blue's decision, but they are afraid of Rainy brainwashing the boy again. They decide to follow her, but before they can, Dr. Sedgwick spots them. He starts shooting tranquilizers, but Lumoris have learned how to dodge them. After reaching a safe spot, Mulla starts investigating the tranquilizers out of curiosity and accidentally hurts himself. He falls unconscious, and Tulla starts the healing spell. Before he can recover, Dr. Sedgwick finds them. Unaware of what his grandpa is doing, Blue is still trying to make a choice. Rainy can't take it anymore and pretends to throw Blue's dagger in the water. He gets really angry because the dagger was a gift from Grandpa, but Rainy asks why he cares if Grandpa is nothing to him. Blue gets quiet and realizes how he's avoiding the situation. This reminds Rainy of her mother's advice. She always used to say that running from a problem isn't going to solve it, no matter how fast you run. Blue should also stop running and discuss everything with his Grandpa. He starts traveling back to the treehouse with Rainy but finds Tulla on their way. Rainy tries to help her but she kicks her away. Lumoris really hates humans but Blue explains that Rainy is a good person. Tulla refuses to believe that and wants to avenge Mulla's abduction by hurting Rainy. Blue gets in the way and requests Tulla to believe them just for once. That's the only way to save Mulla. Tulla finally agrees and they all head towards the treehouse. Dr. Sedgwick has already reached there and puts Mulla in a special container. Kane interrupts him and asks for Lumor's DNA. Dr. Sedgwick asks them to return back home and promises that he will get the DNA soon. He just needs a donor. Hearing this, Kane gets angry and says that he knows the whole truth. Dr. Sedgwick has been dodging them for 12 years. He had found Blue but kept this discovery a secret from Kane. Dr. Sedgwick accepts what he did and says that he found Blue as an injured baby. At first, he was just a testing object, but then he started growing like a human and became a kind and sweet boy. The first word he learned to speak was Grandpa that melted Dr. Sedgwick's heart. He was no more a testing object. Blue became Doctor, Sedgwick's grandson whom he loved the most in this world. He can't allow anyone to hurt Blue. Luckily, Blue and his friends have arrived at the treehouse and heard Dr. Sedgwick's confession. However, Kane doesn't care about the emotional story and wants to use Mulla as the next testing object. Hearing this, Tulla jumps down to rescue her friend while Blue and Rainy follows her too. Dr. Sedgwick apologizes to Blue for keeping him in darkness for so long, but Blue has forgiven him already. No matter what happens, their relationship will not change. Dr. Sedgwick asks Kane to put down his guns. He will give away needed DNA, but after getting it, Kane must leave this planet forever. Blue is worried for Mulla, but Dr. Sedgwick promises not to hurt anyone. He extracts a sample of DNA and stores it in a tube. He doesn't trust Kane, so he asks Rainy to run away with the Lemores. Once they are gone, Kane forcefully takes away the tube, but that's not enough for him. He wants to capture the Lemores. Tula summons giant flowers to defeat the guards, but Kane brings a huge robot. Rainy volunteers to distract Kane and asks Blue to climb on the robot. As soon as he reaches the windshield, Blue uses his magic to cover it with vines. Kane can't see where he is going and accidentally hits a giant cliff. All the stones fall on him and the robot gets buried under them. Blue and his friends start celebrating but little do they know, Kane hasn't been defeated yet. He rises from the ground and attacks Blue. Luckily, Dr. Sedgwick arrives with his excavator to protect his grandson. Rainy climbs on the excavator while Blue unites with the Lemores so they can combine their powers against the robot. However, Kane is not giving up so easily. He has totally gone crazy and proceeds to kill Dr. Sedgwick and Rainy. All of a sudden, Eileen lands in Jungle Planet and shoots Kane with a freezing gun. Afterward, she unites with Rainy and apologizes for forgetting her birthday. She really loves her and works so hard only to provide Rainy with a good life. But now she has realized that Rainy doesn't need luxuries, she needs her mother. Rainy forgives Eileen and promises to never run away from home ever again. Eileen has also brought the destruction chip for Kane's robot, but it needs to be installed by hand. Rainy volunteers for this task and runs towards the robot. The Lumoras use their powers to help Rainy, and she succeeds in climbing up the robot. As soon as she puts in the chip, the robot turns off and starts falling down from the cliff. Rainy can jump off easily, 
but she risks her life to get back Blue's beloved dagger stuck on the robot. Eileen assumes that her daughter is gone, so she starts crying near the cliff. Luckily, Rainy has grabbed on the edge and survives. Dr. Sedgwick decides to stay back with Blue because he needs to develop new technologies. He must find a way to use the Lemoris DNA in saving Earth's plants. Meanwhile, Rainy wishes him best of luck and returns home with her mother, 